Welcome YouTube, this is part three of my little mini series on how to build a pumpkin box. Um, I already took the liberty of cutting out all the pieces that I needed. I've got to sand them all. Uh, I wanted to touch base and let you know, um, just a little recap, that uh, the only thing I touched on in the last two videos is that I used plywood and I cut out the design. I did not say that um, basically what the design is is it was found on a website that made silhouettes of um, different things. Um, one being pumpkin faces, another one I did a Groot, I did a Spider Man one. Um, basically, I printed it out on a standard piece of paper and this. Um, I printed it at a, a seven by five, or uh, sorry, a five by seven, and then I put it on the board. Um, all of these are, um, I believe it's like a one by six, and it's pine, and that's how I make the base. In this video, um, I'm going to explain to you exactly how I make the light, which you probably need nine volt battery. These actually work very well for the holders because uh, when it comes time to attaching them, they have little screw holes for it. Um, this here is what I use as the on-off for the light. Um, alternatively, you could actually do a puck light. Um, I don't actually use the puck light, I actually take it apart. And the finishing product uh, actually comes out something like this. Not every time like this, but something like this. So you got the light on the back side. Eh, press the button, turns on. Uh, with this one, I'll be using this, which you normally find as the, uh, the spool that uh, LED lights usually come in. Um, with that, uh, normally what you need is the middle of the spool. You'll need a little toggle switch. Off, on, off. Slide that right in the middle. I will get to this. It'll be a little bit of a soldering thing. So you probably need a soldering gun. Um, um, a glue gun is also useful as well actually uh, glue it to the bottom side of the, the top piece in which you're going to put on the box. We'll get to that later. Uh, right now I'm going to sand the, this and then I'm going to sand these pieces and then uh, I'll be back to uh, show you how I put it all together. So on to the gluing process, uh, normally I just lay everything out and what, uh, on how it's going to look. So you got your backing, sides, front, this would be the top, this would be the bottom. You don't need these for right now. Okay, so normally what I do is when I do the front, I take the sides and I overlap it onto the side so you don't see the plywood. 
you only see the plywood from the front. All right, in case you got to do it in the back. And normally I leave about two inches in the middle. That way the puck light would actually fit. I use Type Bind 3 pretty much all my glue ups. I actually prefer it. I am not going to leave the camera rolling for the glue up. I'm sure you get the gist on how glue works. I do not glue the top or the uh, the front pad at first. I actually use it as a wedge so everything stays square. And I just come back and do it at a later date. Or I guess after everything's dry. Everything's flush. It doesn't have to be perfect. You can always come back with the uh, sander later. There you're gonna have it, and then we'll let it dry, and uh, be back later for the rest of it. And poof, it was dry. I have to wait a little bit longer for it to be all the way dry, but I can get to the front piece. I'm going to glue that up next.
If anybody doesn't know why I'm putting the rag on, it's usually so that you don't get this little circle mark in the wood when you clamp the pieces together. to dry.
this is pretty much the box. So the only step I got left is the top, the lights, the stem. I don't like that part. So I'm gonna slide this over here. And I need that. I need a pencil. And apparently I'm going to need a larger scale. Apparently I'm going to need a larger speed scale. Whatever the hell it's called. So apparently I'm going to need a... Uh, this instead because it's a little bit longer easiest thing to do find the center point Oops. even if it's a little off it'll be all right that one was definitely off <laughs> Yeah, that's all right. I'm pretty sure we can find the center really easily. If it'll stop moving. So there's your center. Get a little punch. Punch the center. And Some more wood here because basically I'm going to need to find the center here. Yeah, it looks better. Uh, so what I'm doing here is I'm trying to find the center over here because this is where I put the... Um, dowels that go down this would be your top this would be your but you'd also have to open it again so i put dowels through here that go into the center here so that it's a little bit easier so you can just lift it so you can lift it on and off you can get to your light and you can get to your battery so when it's time to change it you can get to uh you can change it so basically it's just ballpark this where I want it. Right in the center. Doesn't have to be perfect. Like there. That's center ish. Punch method. And then sand all this stuff.
there you have it. And there are your punch holes. Bring it back over here. Get rid of this stuff. You will need uh, your spare pieces later when it comes time to uh, figure out where you're going to put your battery. But, uh, this goes on here. I use clamps for this part of it. it makes it a little bit easier when it, you want to drill a hole through it. Probably make sure I put it in the right spot. So the reason why I do it this way is because it makes it easier for the uh, vise to actually grip hold grip a hold of it. So I'm going to take you over here to where I got my little vice set. This thing actually fits in pretty nice. So those holes are done. The uh, center hole I use uh, three quarter inch Forstner bit. You can use pretty much anything. I use three quarter inch because that's what size the dowel is. It actually fits perfectly with this thing. to go too fast through it so I don't get a chip on it. Always 
doesn't work out according to plan. And then you get chip up. Not a big deal. There's a couple different ways you can get past this. I'm just going to glue it back and then uh, make a cut through the top and I'll be back with you as soon as I'm done doing that. Well, apparently fixing it is not part of the cards. So, all I did was uh, just sanded it down. You're not going to see it anyway. That is where your light will actually go over. So, depending on how you do it. You get your light like that. You're never even going to notice it. And nobody else is either. I guess in my case, it's going to be like that.